welcome to Curveson TV and welcome to the incredible KTM Kingsbo GTXR. You might know KTM from the motorcycles and also the original KTM Xbo, but customers wanted a more extreme, a more adult car, and this is the result. The KTM Xbo GTXR, a race car specifically for the road, absolutely matters. It looks like a spaceship, and we are going to get it out on the road. <laughs> Right, so we managed to get out of center of Brussels. Now we're here on this beautiful location to have a look, a closer look at the KTM Xbo GTXR. So let's start with the exterior and then we'll hop in to the interior to see what's going on. So starting with the bodywork of the car, of course, it's fully carbon. You can choose between many different colors, 400,000 to be exactly, but of course you can get it in matte, or glossy carbon so even there you have endless possibilities but it doesn't end with the bodywork you also have the wheels you have the brake calipers you have the center wheel caps that you can choose in any kind of color continuing with the rest of the car we end with all the parts underneath that are also in carbon those are always in black but of course you can choose them to be in glossy or matte and a funny thing is this car is one of the 100 first cars ever to be produced and it's number 11 so chassis number 11 a funny thing is that you can choose the transparency of the glossy matte carbon finishing style and this car is exactly 30.11 percent transparency so that's a little wink to the chassis number of the car once the first 100 cars will be produced, production of course will continue, but is still limited at 100 cars a year or two cars a week. So it's very limited production, which is still seriously impressive. So we won't see these that often, but of course we will hope to see them really often because how good does this thing look? An incredible design feature that's not directly linked to the performance of the car is a jet fighter canopy, which you can open with a single touch on this button how to make an entrance that's the way to go the carbon madness continues on the entire back of the car but again you can choose if you want the black parts in glossy or matte and if this sport ain't enough for you you can always opt for the gt2 accessory parts for example the gt2 wing directly from the race car again same as a sports exhaust system and many other parts if you want to improve your track game. Of course, a car should be practical even if it's a race car or almost a race car. And this one is. So you have the glove box to put all your paper stuff away, small stuff. And then you have the trunk. Let me open it real quickly for you. Pretty, pretty easy. Voila. Oh, of course, again, in carbon. And then here is your trunk. It's about 160 liters, enough to put a few helmets away, race gear, um, and even yeah, a, a medium-sized trolley. So it's uh, definitely uh, very impressive. So even if you go on a little weekend or whatever, it is possible to take the lady with you and get all her stuff inside here. And then a big thing also is that the fuel tank is 96 liters. So if you drive very normal at normal speeds on the highway, it'll do about nine liters per 100 kilometer. If you do the, the, the math, yeah, you'll be able to do 1,000, 1,050 kilometers, which will allow you to go from Brussels to the Côte d'Azur in just one fuel tank. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive, right? Another lovely feature about the steering wheel is that these pedals make an exceptional noise if you hit them. Very mechanical because turbo and engine can scream at high rest. Another part of the entire experience that KTM wants you to have while driving this car. Again, it's a road car, but stuff like this reminds you that you're kind of in a race car, you know. All right, let's hop in. Opening the jet fighter just with a little push and then 
time to get in. So, if you have long legs like me, it's even easier. So let me show you, just up, swipe your leg over. If you're small, you can always sit on this entire monocoque, which is yeah, super, super solid. And you can just swipe your leg in. But if you're yeah, pretty tall like me, you can just hop in like this. And then you just slide yourself really easily into the car, voila. Seat belts are ready. Then you just take your steering wheel off the holder, voila. Specially designed for it. And then just like a race car, you click your steering wheel on it, hop. And just like ATM would say, now I'm ready to race. And again, starting procedure, very easily. Again, it's a race car, so you would think it's seriously complicated. It's not. You just put your foot on the brake, start button, and voila. You're ready to go, you put it in D. We close the jet fighter, and we are ready to go. Hey, hey. All right, so we're in the KTM XVO GTXR and honestly feeling really at ease real quickly visibility is pretty pretty incredible for a, a, a car like this because you have all the glass surrounding us the three digital cameras they take a little time to get used but there are no dead angles uh, which is really easy and you have even a fourth camera when you put it in reverse which comes just above the rear bumper so if you're parking while reversing you can see everything going on behind you which is really easy if you're yeah, just parking it in an underground garage so we don't have any uh, massive displays surrounding you like we see in a lot of new cars everything that's important for the navigation or the media or whatever happens on your smartphone you have a quad lock system in the center of the car uh, it also charges your phone which is really handy and uh, with the optional surround sound system and the bluetooth it really makes life a lot of a lot of fun in this car because you have a really good sound system in it and uh, yeah you just can call your buddies or uh, can uh, enjoy some uh, of your Spotify playlist favorite tunes. So about the driving position, yeah, it's 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 like a race car. Um, it's pretty mad. Seats are fixed in the carbon monocoque, but you can of course change the position of the pedals. You can move the, them 30 centimeters, and of course you can move the steering wheel closer or further away from you. But besides that, you have these soft pads and yeah, I can drive to the south of France really easily with this. No, uh, no issue at all, even with the sound of the, the engine. If you stay under even 4000 RPMs, it's really comfortable. You don't have a lot of engine noise going into the cabin, which is, which is really fine as long as you are driving in sport mode. Once you go in the performance mode, which is really easy, you just tap like this and then you have a lot of more noise going on steering wheel is a bit tighter everything feels a bit sporty you're ready to go out on the racetrack or go for some fun on some fast b roads which is exactly what you want to do with this car and as you can see i'm surrounded by an incredible amount of carbon because we are in a carbon monocoque which gives the car an incredible strength but it's also very safe this monocoque follows the highest safety regulations you can imagine. It's a funny gimmick, but the roof can support up to 11 tons, which is just pretty mad. So just imagine how safe this car is. So for the people that think a race car isn't safe, guess you're wrong. And of course, for the real petrol heads out there, if you want to know, the rev counter stops at 7,000 RPM, which is seriously impressive for a turbocharged engine like this five cylinder and let's not forget about that iconic sound which is mind bro never uh, yeah never get used to the sound of a five cylinder engine oh when you push it woo! Oh, turbo <laughs> yeah that's nice that's really nice
guys. You can hear that turbo, oh, iconic sound. Whoosh! <laughs> it really sticks on the road. Even with this Pilot Sport 4S tires, it just gives you a great feeling behind the steering wheel. Gives you a lot of confidence. And again, with the seat position, it's, oh, it, it really does feel like a race car. And that's the funny part, because it just actually is. <laughs> wow, all the confidence. And then with this steering wheel that you can just, you don't, it's small, you, you can just turn in and out corners really easily. Yeah, honestly, uh, loving it. It's, it's impressive. This is a race car for a road. I know we hear this stuff a lot, but this actually started its life as a race car and then they just managed to put road legal plates on it so you can enjoy it yourself outside the racetrack and honestly it's a seriously impressive car. So uh, yeah, but unfortunately it's time to go back to DRM in Brussels, bring the car back and uh, yeah, have another chat with uh, Xavier who is uh, the responsible of this car. But first, I'm gonna just enjoy it a little bit more. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's time to give the steering wheel back to Xavier Ougardi, brand manager of KTM Sports Cars Benelux. Xavier, thanks again. Thank you, Rob. I hope you had some fun and you've been able to uh, discover and experience the philosophy of the GTXR. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. perfect. We at DRM with Mathieu and Amaury will be more than happy to welcome you in our coming brand new KTM showroom. Rob, pleasure was mine. Thank you. Thank See you, you soon. Absolutely. Drive safe. And to the viewers, thanks again for watching. And again, see you at another Curbstone TV review. Take care. Bye bye. Ça va? C'est bon. It's okay? Yeah. yeah? You're still filming. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, nice.